another question we get is lighting um, and what do we pack so inside there's a little motion activated LED um, light it's USB rechargeable so and we've had this um, hot glue gun in the actual cabinet itself we tried using just the plain old sticky back that it comes with and it did not stay. It doesn't stick that well to the metal for very long. So we have found that if you use hot glue, it has worked really nicely. The other neat thing is because this is motion activated, we bought these on Amazon, um, you can um, reserve energy and it gives you, it gives you the ability to Turn it off and certain seconds that you want it to be set to and so we found that these have worked really nicely we have one in this compartment and one in the, the larger storage compartment um, as far as our kitchen gear of course we have our magnetic paper towel holder this is from Harbor Freight um, very inexpensive for that and that can be moved anywhere we may feel like we need it, but we have found that if we just leave it here on the door as we're cooking, it works really well. Um, we've got our extra pot and skillet, just little small pot and skillet. Helped make the gravy the other night for our mashed potatoes and of course trash bags. Um, this drawer, as I've mentioned before, rolls out for our cooking surface and it comes with what they call a sink. We still got the plastic wrap. We haven't really used it yet, even though I think it um, is something that we'll be using in the future. It's just not something that, and we've still up here. Um, it's just not something that we find that we've needed really yet. Um, we do have a cast iron skillet. This is our primary uh, use skillet. I don't think that's a baby, about 10 inches. And then we bought one of these electric range tops. Yes, we have the propane cookers, we have the butane ones, as you saw the butane cans in our other video, um, but I personally don't like having to use those cylinders unless we're off-grid, so whenever possible, I like to use this electric uh, plate, and I find it works super, super well, heats up fast, and the neat part is, if you put the skillet on it and slide it in, it fits perfectly where the... Um, Butane and propane do not, so that's just extra things you'll have to carry in another compartment. So just wanted to let you know about that. Um, looking at our kitchen gear, so what do we like to pack and keep with us? So hopefully you can see all of this. Uh, it's rather bright out here. We've got, of course, our Lysol cleaning wipes. I went and bought some plates and bowls and cups from Big Lots. As you can tell, not very expensive. I got a lot of our kitchen gear from um, a big lot that they have like their spring sale and then bought some cutting boards here just little disposable cutting boards also from big lots I wanted to use a different color of plates and bowls and so forth just so I wouldn't get um, confused when I go to clean it where it belongs if it belongs in the house or if it belongs in here and so I find that if I went with like this color um, I knew it was always going to go back and be packed in here. So I bought everything that's a little different than I would have in my house just to be sure I knew where it belonged. Uh, whisk, and then um, I found like a pack at uh, Big Lots of different cooking utensils. Tongs, we love our tongs. We use them for everything, so I had to have a pack of those. Um, a lemonade, uh, aluminum foil. This is our silverware. So someone had given this to us. Um, it's Coleman silverware, so just pull it out, wash it, fold it up, re-roll it, and it's good to go. So I will put that later. And found some hand towels and little cloths at Big Lots, something a different color than I would use in my house, just to be sure I knew where it went. Got a couple of hot pads in here. Um, we like the gallon Ziploc bags and the quart Ziploc bags. We find that these are the ones we use the most. 
Um, there's all different sizes, but we find that these are the ones we found most useful. Therefore, we wanted to keep those with us because you have limited amount of space. You've got to decide what you're going to keep and what you're not. Um, found these cute little bins also at um, Big Lots and they fit inside each other. There's two of them, top and bottom, which I think are really nice because you could put your spices or just little odds and ends. You won't, don't want loss in the bottom of your, your um, basket. So microfiber towels, got those at Harbor Freight. I haven't used them yet, but have them on hand for washing dishes or whatever we think we might need. Um, this is a little pot strainer, so you don't have to carry a big strainer with you. Another hot pad, can't have enough of those when you're working outdoors. Of course, your wine opener. Um, I found some cheap little knives that kind of match the theme at uh, Big Lots and um, can opener. Gotta have a can opener. I bought, uh, of course, another backup wine opener. I bought a um, instant read thermometer to make sure our, fo our food is cooked, uh, making sure everything is at the proper temperatures. And then our um, uh, food scissors, those have come in handy several times. And then um, in our upper container, we have, oops, it's open, coconut oil. Let me get a paper towel. Coconut oil, which I find is, it's a high temperature oil. And it's like when you're frying in your skillet, you can use um, canola or corn oil. But if you're frying in an instant pot or maybe over a fire, you want to have something that's going to be high temperature. And so go with a good uh, coconut oil. Um, and then of course these are really cute. We got these, I think, on Amazon. These are tops for drinking, so when you have your wine glass full of wine, you can put the, the top over it. Keeps your flies and gnats and all of that out of your drink, which is wonderful. Um, flashlight, salt and pepper, a little thing of Dawn, of course. Um, I like to put my sponges and my scrubbers in a little pack so it doesn't get any residue soap or grease or whatever into the rest of my cooking area. Um, a couple of wine glasses, of course. These are really neat. So we, we got this trick from, uh, we learned this from Johnny Trigg at one of his uh, barbecue um, sessions. He uses these. So these are cotton gloves that you can get from Harbor Freight. We use these in our barbecue cook-offs. We use these when cooking with high heat. Um, this is really neat. So what you do is you get these cotton gloves at Harbor Freight and you put these on your hands and then you cover them over with latex gloves and so that way it makes them waterproof. This makes it to where you can handle hot items like hot foods and so forth. If you've got pork that you need to pull, you've got chicken that you need to handle, anything you need to handle and actually be able to use your fingers and hands rather than those big gloves that you know you're kind of like stuck um, like a crab. You can use these and then cover them over with latex gloves and these are washable. They come like, I don't know, 10 for a couple of dollars. It, it, it's really inexpensive and we found it a, a really great tip. So thanks Johnny Trigg, we, we really appreciated your class. Um, scrubbers, of course, and then I like to pack packets. I mean, you get the stuff at the drive-thru, so why not use it? Just one less thing to keep in your big cooler as a giant thing of ketchup. So um, the other thing we keep with us is wet wipes. Always can use wet wipes. Um, and they're not just for babies, we use them for everything. Um, and then of course our pure One of the questions we've had is related to the area where the generator is stored, the drawer. So as you know, generators are really heavy and it has a stabilizing bar that drops down underneath that actually locks into place, which is pretty neat. You see, it's just got a little locking mechanism up there. So you can lower that down and it drops it in place. And then depending on your your area as far as you're going one way or the other, and we talked about the grade earlier, um, that will help you lock those into the right position so that when you have this pulled out, you don't want to ever have the generator going while that's enclosed. So you slide it out, it locks in position, and then you bring down the actual stabilizing bar. Um, and then we decided 
that when we don't have the generator going, we can store it in there with our other uh, butane containers for our cooking device so it's cooled down. But of course we remove those before we actually used it. Um, and then we found a little shelf at Harbor Freight that we find um, useful for different things. We attach it to the side so of course we can put drinks in it, hold whatever we need to, and it's completely removable. Um, it can be added anywhere. But this is the, the extended drawer for the generator. So in our large storage container, what we really utilize this for is we have a couple of bins with our night stuff and some extra kitchen things that we couldn't fit in the kitchen compartment. Um, but let me give you a little more detail with it. So we started collecting magnets at each of the parks we're going to. Um, so I put those on the door. We've got underneath another one of those strips that we had talked about in the kitchen video um, that is the motion sensor um, USB lighting that you can control on and off and put the select the amount of seconds that you'd like to have it turn on. Um, word of advice, be sure to put this in the off position when you're traveling because as things move and shake it must set off the sensor because um, we had to charge it whenever we arrived at the camp site last night. So in our compartment, this is the one that has a flat top on it and then there's one that has a pocket inside with some carpeting. This one is really made, this drawer is made for your cooler. So you can put your ice chest back here, it'll fit just fine. Um, we like keeping it in the Jeep so that we can access drinks and so forth um, when we're on the go because a lot of the times we'll have the bicycles and you have to have the door closed and locked in order to have the bicycles back here. So rather than go with this unaccessible, um, we like putting it the ice chest in the Jeep and then we can make sure we always have ice filled and so forth. If it was back here, um, anytime we stopped, we would have to take and unload the bikes and the bike carrier to get to it. So it's not convenient for us, so we use this for other storage. So in here is where we keep our little toaster oven um, that we got on sale at um, Aldi. So really inexpensive little, little unit. I think we got it for around $24, $25. And then we've got our little fan that you've seen in another video where we've got it on the exterior table that uh, we got from Walmart. So really inexpensive little, little fan. And then of course a little folding table that folds in half that also is from Walmart. So this we keep in here and there's, there's lots of storage space back in there. Um, these drawers, as I've mentioned before, lock. So that's what this little button is for. And then you've got the pin here so it locks into place. Um, in this case, I've got it unlocked so I can pull it out and show you what all we have packed inside. So I've got these totes from Big Lots. They're 20 gallon totes from Big Lots. I find that you can fit two very easily um, front to back um, in order to, to fill your gear. The um, one tote that I keep in the back is where we keep all of our bedding. So I bought these. It's an underbed storage container, so it zips up. This is where we keep our blanket, pillows, sheets, things like that that we use for bedding. Um, I find that it keeps it nice and, and neat. And then we keep our we keep our hammocks and our hammock um, straps here in this container. And then I have this little thing, it's for the beach. So when you're going someplace really sandy, this is like a beach blanket made for sand. And it keeps, um, it, it does well compared to putting cloth down. So it's just a beach blanket. But that's our bedding. We swap it out um, for our sleeping bags in cooler weather. But right now, is with it being 100 degrees, we don't need um, sleeping bags. We just need our sheets and then maybe a very light, light blanket, which is what that is. So. Ooh, trying to push this back. That's right. It locks when you pull it open. So you have to unlock it. Okay. So we keep a couple of tarps 
We haven't used them yet, but we know we will at some point just because we've used um, tarps before. So these are from Harbor Freight. Uh, very inexpensive. I think I may have even gotten one of them free um, with a purchase with that little coupon. This is a shower mat. So I don't know about you, but we've gone camping so many times and you use the park restrooms, which are fine. But you walk in, you're like, I don't know how well this has been cleaned. Um, rather than showering in your flip flops and having them squeaky and gross all the rest of the day, um, bring a shower mat. It doesn't have to be bamboo like the one we have. You can use the really inexpensive ones at your stores. Just get those little plastic ones, throw it down, do your shower, get out, hose it off with a shower head, roll it up and call it done. So save yourself all the hassle of having to deal with the um, with the nasty showers and wet shoes. So also in here, you know, we keep extra toilet paper. It's always a good idea to have that on hand. Um, I keep clothesline clips. One, because if you're gonna hand wash something or if you're gonna go swimming, um, you wanna make sure you've got clips. I like to use these as my chip closer. So if I've got bags of tortilla chips or whatever, we can close those up. I use um, clothesline clips for a lot of different things. Speaking of that, so there is a clothesline down here. Um, we keep this with us as well. Haven't had to use it yet, but I know at some point I will. Um, just a little inexpensive um, clothesline. Something else that we created for our truck out to Big Bend a couple years ago is you get these little um, containers for medicine and then you can um, put what type of medication it is, um, how many to take for an average adult because we're just adults right now that are going out camping. Um, and so that way you have an idea of, of what you need. So you've got your Nexium, your Advil PM, your Excedrin PM, yes, for those nights where you need a little extra sleep because of the pain, um, or your regular um, non-sleeping uh, medications that, that you might need. Um, Excedrin migraines coming in handy quite a bit. Um, but yes, this is the medication that, that we take with us. Easy rather than keeping up with all those pill bottles. So really like having that. We've got our Yeti containers. These are those large ones. Um, we take these with us when we go out for long hikes, like when we were at Big Bend. You gotta make sure you've got water with you. This is a real easy um, way of carrying those and it keeps your drinks really cold. Um, in a container I bought as part of the set with the, um, the bedding, the under bed bedding, you get a little um, pouch. I like keeping the, the big carabiners in it. Um, these are from Harbor Freight. We like using these rings to go on the Yeti and clip them to our backpacks, our hiking backpacks, so that we don't have to, we strap them to our waist, we can strap them to the backpack. Um, but these D-ring clips, the carabiner clips, and then the Yetis work really great. Looking else in our pack, I've got sunscreen, all kinds of sunscreen. Um, we've got the spray on, we've got the wipe on, we've got, of course, the repel with DEET. Make sure if you're going out hiking, you want to have good, um, a good amount of DEET on you for the bugs. And then we've got a couple of our click lighters. Always want to have about two because you never know. And yes, I got the ones with yellow only because I could find that I could see the actual amount of liquid in them better than I could on the dark colored um, torch lights so you can see the level of fluid that are still in there. These are luggage locks. We use these for a lot of different things. So on the luggage locks you can put in your combination, whatever you find. We, we like setting our own combinations for things. We use these for um, if we want to lock the tent. Not that somebody could get in or not get in, they could always cut the screens or whatever, but you're gonna keep, you know, mostly kids or whatever out of your stuff if you have a little lock like this. Um, also at night, we find that um, the raccoons and possums learn how to open ice chests. So we have an ice chest with an uh, area that's able to lock. And so these work really well rather than having to use zip ties all the time. So there again, these are reusable. 
um, more earth friendly um, and so this is a good thing to have or you can just put a regular D ring clip on it too so it really just depends on what your need is we keep um, notepad pen marker so always want to have that available in case you have a need um, you want to have hand soap because you would be surprised there's not many places with hand soap in the parks and then I have this with us, haven't had to use it yet, but when you go into the shower areas at the parks, there's not always a hook to, to hang your towels and so forth. And I'm not laying my stuff down on that grimy seat. So um, yeah, take the take an extra hook with you. It's just a, a dollar, it's no big deal. Um, makes it convenient for you to have. This is a, um, this is one of those cool wraps. So you literally can junk this into your ice chest have it absorb the ice water and then cool yourself down. So if you get way overheated, that's something to, to have handy with you um, or have with you. So this is also where we keep our Instant Pot. Um, this, I like to take with us the six quart Instant Pot for our use out at the parks. I got a group of D rings. These come in handy for all sorts of things um, from Harbor Freight. And then last couple of things, one, get yourself a little broom. I forgot where I got this from. I think it was on Amazon, just a little tiny hand broom for sleeping out your tent or whatever. And then um, extra batteries, never can go wrong with extra batteries and then emergency glow sticks. So if we want to throw a couple of these in our backpack, if we go out hiking and run into a problem, we can break up some glow sticks. These things last, the glow sticks should be around, I think it says eight hours. 12 hours can be seen for 12 hours so if we run into a situation to where we need emergency help or whatever we can always uh, break some glow sticks and grow glow sticks and we can be seen um, from the air anybody looking for us so that's the pack the um, only other thing I didn't get a chance to show y'all when we were doing our kitchen information is this um, this is a new little gadget I heard about it on Pinterest but I bought this um, on Amazon. It's an herb dryer. And you're like, okay, why well, do I need an herb dryer in the camping? Well, it's not just for um, herbs. Woo! Yeah, it pops open really big. So you can see it is gigantic. And what you do is you can dry your dishes. So this lets you hang it. And then you put your wet dishes in there. The flies don't get to it and just let your stuff dry if you're not gonna sit down and, and dry them all by hand. So you can leave your stuff out. Or if you're with a group of people and you have a lot to clean, you can just hang this up and let your stuff dry. Hope you enjoyed. For the toolbox review, I've moved the video into the garage. It is way too hot to have that out there. So, we have a couple of magnetic level bubbles. These come in handy when you can move them to the side of the trailer and as you're trying to level the trailer off in your particular camping space, you can attach it to different parts of the trailer to be able to get the level. So we've got a couple of those. We found some magnetic hooks on Amazon. These can be attached anywhere on the trailer. So we found it very helpful. Um, a carabiner V hooks. Um, found that one at um, Harbor Freight, so those are always handy to have around. But we've used the hooks to put up, um, let's see, wet dish sponge and towels and just different things you can hook to the side as you're working that we can. Um, like we talked about before, heavy duty extension cord. This one's a three prong. Um, so we've got that in our tool box. Bungee cords from Harbor Freight. The fans, when we don't have them up in the tent, we keep them here in the toolbox. So we've got those that work on cigarette lighting. We keep the um, cords and actual um, jumper battery packs in here as well when we're not when not in use. This is the shoe cover that goes up by the tent when we're not using it. Some extra tent stakes and a hammer. 
Um, we've used these um, on a previous tent. We've got those for our specialty. One looks like a dressing room slash bathroom. Um, you can also use this as helpful for when you've got that awning on the outside. You can actually stake that down into the ground so it doesn't move around. Um, these are some parts that came with the tent. Let's see what's in here. Looks like there's just some extra guidelines, things like that. I keep a floor mat, as you see in one of the videos, uh, at the end of the ladder. We've got battery-operated lantern light, which is helpful. We've got extra gloves for cooking or washing or grease or whatever we have the situation. You get those at Harbor Freight. These are wonderful. Lots and lots of Harbor Freight ones. We've got some noodles that we've cut up. You know, the thing you've seen on Pinterest about put these on the guidelines and keep people from tripping over them in the dark. So if you are going to put your light lines down for the um, extension of the tent, be sure you're using something to mark it. This is a cot organizer. We have it for our extra large cots that we have that are not for this particular unit, but when we're in our regular um, camping, we've got that available. I just threw it in here because I thought it was very handy. Some extra work gloves that we got at, at Harbor Freight, um, just in case those were needed. Some hiking poles for our adventures. Um, these are um, parkas, rain parkas that are also, they have grommets, so they're multi-use. You can use these um, to wear in the rain or you can use them to stretch them out like uh, tarps um, when you're not using them as an actual parka. But if we got caught in a bad rainstorm for some reason and needed to put everything back up, um, it would be a good idea to have a couple of, of rain parko, ponchos, uh, rain parkas with you, um, just so you're not standing in the rain. Zip ties. Always one thousand uses for zip ties. These are the hooks to the out part of the um, the tent, the ones that um, attach to the actual window units of the tent, and have them held out. So we keep those stored in here. Um, let's see. We've got a magnetic light. So this is an LED light that you can plug in. It's got a big magnet on it so you can hook it onto something or you can magnet it. And since this whole unit is um, all metal, this is going to work really well. We haven't even gotten out of the box yet because at night, the last couple times we've been camping, the mosquitoes have been bad, so up and in the tent before we get dark. But if we were needing to cook or do something outside, this is going to be really helpful. Um, roll of duct tape. You never know when you're going to need duct tape. Yes, I'm a firm believer in zip ties and duct tape. See here, some sort of plug. I'm not sure what that's to. A couple extra batteries down here. I'm not sure what those are for, but I'm guessing they're probably for my weather radio. So it's just something I want to have handy. Yes, we've got our phones, but if we ever decide to go off-roading somewhere where we don't have access, some places we go doesn't have really good cell service um, or Wi-Fi service. So having a weather radio is going to be a good idea. A couple of more little um, lantern type battery operated lanterns. Um, flashlight. These I really like. Um, they're the ones that you press the button on the end. It only takes a couple of, of lights uh, as far as um, batteries, AA batteries, but it's got the LED. Um, I don't even have it turned on right now. You can see how bright it is just with that. Um, the, but that's an LED bulb in the bottom and it allows you to um, expand and contract the beam of light. So these are really, really handy. Um, camping with you, um, a good bottle of off. Um, I've got the ones with the heavy, heavy DEET, and you can get the ones really good, um, strong with DEET at Academy. That's the best place I have found with the strongest amount of DEET. But when you use that, it also overheats you. It cuts off the pores to your skin and can get very, very hot and uncomfortable. So for most of the time, we like to use the off, the smooth and dry. Um, it's a lot easier to on your skin um, and you don't get that, that hot 
uh, feeling, that hot tingling feeling when you use this. But we tried this first, and if the mosquitoes are just relentless, then grab the, the heavier, deep version. I'm wondering what's in this bag here. Looks like there's some more ties or... Goodness, looks, oh, I know. That is one of our big heavy ropes that um, we ended up buying for when we're off-roading. So we haven't had to use that, luckily. Looks like there's some sort of a, hmm, looks like it's a key, a tool key of some sort. So we've got that in here. And underneath all of this, I know you can probably see it now, it's got the case. We went and bought one of those, oh, I think it was like a 250 tool uh, toolbox. It's not very big as you can see on the side. It's just um, a few inches wide. But wanted to make sure we had every kind of tool that we might need if we go um, someplace and have an issue. So just a little bit of tools, extra guide wires, and um, tent stakes for the unit. We talked about these. See if there's anything else over here. Another lantern. So that is it in a nutshell of everything that we take with us for um, camping as far as in our tool area. So hope you found this helpful. I realized in this bag it's not a rope. This is the expandable water hose. So these are those hoses that you see on TV that um, you plug in and they expand several hundred feet. So that's it, it comes in its own little um, bag. The other thing that I don't see in here that I know we carry with us a lot is a, um, a soft mallet. And that's always helpful for stakes or trying to get the pins out, the carter keys and so forth of the tent area itself. So um, that, and then I'm going to order, and I haven't purchased it yet, but I wanna get a stack of extra carter keys and extra pins, um, D-ring type clips. I know I showed you some in the back, but I want to have them in the tool area too. So I want to have um, extra Carter keys with you because if you lose one of those in the grass, you're definitely going to need a replacement one. So I'm probably going to add that to this toolbox as well.